I want to speak with you today about fulfillment. Often, you'll hear me quote Martin Luther King. But I want to quote his wife right now. She was a woman of great wisdom, Coretta Scott King. She said this. She said, I'm fulfilled in what I do. I never thought that a lot of money or fine clothes, the finer things of life, would make you happy. My concept of happiness is to be filled in a spiritual sense. That is really where true fulfillment comes, when you are filled in a spiritual sense. In Psalm 66, verse 10, it says, You, O God, have tested us. You have refined us as silver is refined. We went through fire and through water, but you brought us out to rich fulfillment. That talks about God's grace. No matter what you're going through, God will turn that, God will use that to, to make your life more fulfilled. It may not seem that way at the beginning, but it will sure see that way a- at the end. Well, how can you find genuine fulfillment? Is it by trusting the world's promises or by achieving success as the world defines it? Hardly. Real fulfillment starts and it ends in God, not with the world. When we trust God's promises, when we seek God's will, and live in accordance with God's teachings, we will experience true fulfillment that only God can offer. Now sometimes, amid the hustle and the bustle of life, we forfeit the gift of God's joy because we're too busy wrestling with all the challenges of daily living. And yet, God's word is clear. Spiritual abundance is available to all that seek it. Count yourself among the very number that seek it and find it. Seek first a personal transforming relationship with your Creator, and then claim that joy. And you will have it. You will have the fulfillment and the spiritual riches that can and that should be yours.